Let's dive into UAB. And the Blazers last year, pretty good. Pretty good, not bad. Went 9-4. and four. Bill Clark's team is always incredibly well coached. Uh, every single season. It does not matter who's returning. It doesn't matter. You have a you have a foundation. You have a floor for this program, and they tend to reach over it almost every single season. If you look into, um, let's look into the losses here. Uh, obviously, Antonio Moultrie going to Miami hurt. Uh, Ray J. Johnson, the wide receiver, heading over to Troy. Uh, that one may hurt. They lose Garrett Prince, the tight end. He was highly used last year. Linebacker Alex Wright is a big loss there. They are number 51 in returning production, 66%. The biggest problem that you're going to have is on offense, where they only have 64% returning. But defense is number 44 in the country. Uh, you got a bunch of experienced guys here. Uh, let's start off on the offense here. Quarterback, uh, quarterback pff, <laughs> again, having problems talking today, guys. Dylan Hopkins returns uh, after a massive year last year. He missed spring. Is that going to matter? You got other guys in here that could be vying for that job. Dylan Hopkins surprised a lot of people because I think we all thought the quarterback last year was going to be Tyler Johnston. He has uh, transferred out. Now you got Hopkins, and you do have some other guys. Uh, a Baylor transfer came in, et cetera. We'll see what all that means. I would imagine Hopkins is going to be the guy, especially with as well as he played last year. Uh, offensive line returns three starters. You got some other guys that have some snaps as well, so you do have experience on the front line there. Uh, skill positions are loaded. Wide receiver could use a little more explosivity uh, beyond Trey uh, Shropshire's 26-yard per catch average. The running back, you got four legit threats there. The offense is going to be good this year. Uh, you look at their numbers last year, number 18 in PPA per drive on offense, number 35 in rushing success rate, number 54 in passing success rate. Explosive play rate is number 22, which makes sense because they are number 121 in total plays run per game. Uh, when you don't run that many plays and yet you still have some explosive plays, yeah, your, your number there is going to be pretty big. So I, I do like the offense here. Uh, you've got McBride and Brown Jr. as far as the running backs go. Kadeem Telfort, the uh, left tackle, he's back. That's going to be good. And, of course, Hopkins, we got to see what goes on with that. Uh, I would imagine he'll be just fine. On defense, Bill Clark's defenses are always good. They always have been. He puts an emphasis on that side of the ball. They were number 43 in PPA per drive, so they weren't as good last year as usual. Still really, really good when you combine that with a good offense, right? Number 28 in rushing success rate allowed. Number 43 in passing success rate allowed. Their explosive play rate, number 86. This is another one of those where you don't run a lot of plays, and yet you still give up some big ones. Yeah, your your play rate there is going to be pretty high. So uh, the back seven loaded. Uh, there with linebacker Wilder, the cornerback Starling Thomas the fifth, star swoops, um, or swoops, excuse me. While the back seven has multiple starters back, the defensive line not nearly as experienced. There were plenty of upperclassmen though. Like this whole defense is littered with juniors and seniors just all over the place, and they are every year. They are gonna miss linebacker Alex Wright, though. He was a star. And so I, I think uh I think they're gonna miss him quite a bit. Keys to the season here. The quarterback, Hopkins, of course, it, he has to be as good as he was in 2021. They're going to need tight ends to step up in place of Prince here. Um, they got to help efficiency. And then, of course, as I said, you need another playmaker uh, beyond Trey Shropshire. Uh, the defense roster strength ain't great. They're number 102 in roster strength on that, but they, they are number 44 in returning production, which means they've got experience. And, again, they got a lot of upperclassmen. They got a lot of studs here. They need to cut down on the penalties. That's a big key to the season this year. Number 127 in penalties per game. They they found a way to beat themselves in some of these games. Uh, those penalties typically find a way to come back and hurt you. So number 127 out of 130 last season ain't good. You got to cut down on the penalties. They were okay in turnover margin, number 43 in that regard. Uh, the schedule, I think, sets up pretty well here. I've got, I've got them at 10-2. and two. And I may be a little bit biased because, of course, Chris and I both big Bill Clark fans. But when you look at this team and you look at the way that they have gone about building the culture of the program, this second year with Dylan Hopkins, you got a pretty good defense coming back. You got some studs here and there littered with upperclassmen that understand their roles on this team. Uh, I've got losses at Florida Atlantic and at LSU. Other than that, I've got them winning every other game. Uh, I think this is. This schedule set up perfectly. Your road games at Liberty, 
at Rice, at Western Kentucky, at Florida Atlantic, at LSU, and at Louisiana Tech. I mean, you got some first year coaches in there. You got some coordinator changeovers. You got uh, new quarterbacks. You got all kind of different stuff going on. They've they've got a shot to really do something special this year. Ten and two could get them back to the conference title game. And yeah, I I like this team a lot. I think they are loaded this year. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.